what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to make ourselves a set of solid spherical bearings if you're not sure what spherical bearings are they are these guys right here so we got two of them and we're going to make the little spacers that go with it and because i'm doing this intro after i made everything <laughs> in real world time uh you can see them on the car it is this control arm bushing right here which will get rid of all that rubber flex and this one right here which is the tow link in the rear so these two bushings alone uh, should get rid of a lot of slop still in the rear end and I made myself one for the front control arm right here um, and already did a track day on that one everything went well there so this will be a little bit of a uh, kind of a machining video but like a handful of parts I've been doing recently the reason I'm making them, uh, I'm going to finalize my CAD models. They will be turned into a physical product depending on what time you watch this in the future or not. Um, they will be on my website and link will be below when they're available. So I think that's about it. Let's jump into it. Alright guys, so with all my slugs now cut, you can see this one, I kind of did some of my initial uh, operations. So I have my drawing right here, and at this point we're just going to kind of time lapse through turning them down. Uh, this one that you can see, uh, this diameter right here is this 2.122, so that way I can kind of hold it from the top. Um, I'm going to turn down this outside diameter and the snap ring groove uh, first. Then this way you can see while I'm in there I'll do this chamfer uh, and then flip it and be able to hold it from this side to come in from the top. Finish up the actual cup where the bearing press is in and the snap ring groove on the inside. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start turning. So I was using the calipers to get me pretty close, uh, but when I'm shooting for a thousandths, I'll bring out the micrometers. Um, but if we, on our time lapse, I did a few measurements, but if we look at that one, uh, it might be a little hard to see with the reflection. Uh, we're at 1.923 and a half. Uh, so we're about a thou, a thou and a half over. Uh, but this is also really hot right now, so we're going to stop there. Uh, we can always take that thou off later. Um, but honestly, as hot as this is, I bet you... <sighs> but honestly, as hot as this is, I bet you it'll cool down almost a thousand. <laughs> Alright, so it's the next morning, everything cooled down overnight, 
end, we are at, so we'll take another measurement. And we are at 1.922. Might be a little hard to see something that fine on the video, but we are at 1.922, which is exactly what we were shooting for. So our sphericals just showed up. Uh, we got some COM 16s and COM 12s. I just double checked measurements real quick off camera and we're good to go. So we should be able to just go ahead and press them in. <clears throat> we should be about a one to two thou press fit on these. And I'm gonna try and do it one handed. We're a little crooked, should straighten up. There we go. Okay. So I'm doing it without the thing, the uh, breaker bar so far. It's snug, but I'm not killing it to try and get it in. So we should be good. I'm gonna put this on at this point. There we go, pressed in. All we gotta do is uh, put a snap ring on it. All right, big one's pressed in. Same thing, put a snap ring on it and we're good to go. So the snap ring, really easy with snap ring pliers. Get it down and in. There we go, locked in, that ain't going anywhere. All right, so we're ready to press this in. We're already in about a quarter of an inch, so this whole <laughs> precarious setup uh, is hanging in there on its own. Uh, but it's going in easy enough. So, just gotta press these in. It's about a two or three thou uh, press fit, uh, so I don't have any, um, so I don't have any retaining compound around it. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely snug for sure, but not overly tight, and obviously also not loose. So, uh, pretty good fit. Um, we'll get it pressed in and do the spindle too. All right, so here we are doing the spindle one and kind of the same deal. It's about a two thou press fit and I don't even have the arm on it yet. Um, it's definitely getting tight. So again, a snug fit, um, but not overly tight. Obviously not loose, uh, so we're pretty good. Um, so we'll press this in and get the snap rings on. All right, so if I did all my measuring and machining correctly, the snap ring groove should land right on the edge of the control arm, which it seems to. Snap ring is in. We are looking good. Cool. Same thing with the hub side. There we go, all set. And then I didn't video it, but I did turn down my, uh, some people call these spools, spacers, step spacers, whatever you wanna call them, but you know, they're what take up, they're what take up the space to fit uh, between the toe link in this case. 
And then one more thing to note while I, while I have this here, uh, be good, nice easy video demonstration. On the GT350 uh, hubs, the e-brake uh, are almost like a, uh, you can see the, the drum brake bit right there. But when you remove this, you know, you're getting rid of a quarter inch thickness right here. And your bearing would actually contact your ABS sensor right here. So we developed these little guys that will then take up that space so everything remains the same. And removing this lets you save another five pounds per side. So we ended up doing these as well. Uh, these are available on the website. Um, these, I'm not sure when this video and real life will kind of join, but um, we will be doing solid bushings. They will be on the website as well. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, bearings are pressed in, back on the car. This was a fun video. I've been doing a few more machining videos. I know our composite videos based on views usually uh, do a little better. So in the comments below, if you like these kind of machiney type videos, let me know. I got more planned. Um, I might just do them anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.